What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K19, my career mode. It is time to design a title belt. Design the title. So we're going to load into the create a title. Yes, we are. We totally are. Oh, man. That's going to be weird, but okay. Let's do the big gold belt with one of those. Some side plates. Oh, they're tiny. I want those. Some circular side plates. The completely ridiculous Jurassic Park title. Because why not? Why not? Next week. I am the Miz. And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. In French. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. I mean, he moved when my on right from foot goes in, Rudo, but... your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part. Other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. Dun, da, 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 da. Jurassic champion of the world! Of the Jurassic world. Hilarious. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H back to your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? Fourth wall. This is Broken. real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. Zack Ryder. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. Hey now. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. In a no DQ match. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. We just had a backstage brawl yesterday, Elias. Like I said, happened. anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. Condition. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. <laughs> the shock heals. Good stuff. The champ is here! The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. And so I welcome you to a auspicious Tuesday here on the show, wearing my Jurassic title accompanied by Sasha Banks. And boy, oh boy, it is, this has been a crazy year of wrestling. And it only gets more insane 
Like, if you told me last year all the things that happened this year in wrestling, I would not have believed you. Because it has been just downright ridiculous and depressing and amazing and just all kinds of things at the same time that have happened in the calendar year of 2018. And we're not even done yet. It's the end of October. So, before I get into Raw and the insane things that got announced and happened on Raw, we have to back it up a little bit, right? We have to back it up a little bit to the rumors that were hitting in the afternoon of yesterday. Because some of those rumors uh, kind of ended up being at least partially true, in a, in a sense. And that may inform other rumors that were part of that same bit of business, right? So, a couple of hours before Raw, I'd say like, you know, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, there was a rumor going around that, number one, Roman Reigns was hurt, right? That was, alright, he was on house shows this weekend, he was hurt. And they were like, alright, well, is it, you know, just a regular injury? You know, that happens all the time in, in, in his business, and that he wouldn't be at Crown Jewel, right? But number two part of that rumor was that Cena and Brian are refusing to go to Crown Jewel. And P.S., they're both booked on that show, right? Brian's got a match with AJ for the belt, and Cena is part of the World Cup. So, that happened. And then Raw happened. And Roman Reigns has leukemia. What in... What? Like, of all the announcements they could have made that was the most shocking and unsettling and just hard to process, that A, he's had it before, which explains why he didn't go into the NFL, that's pretty cool. That's... That was nice. Showing the belt like that. So that whole thing, really hard to process, and the fact that he has relinquished the title, and it will now be between Braun and Brock at Crown Jewel. That is, if Crown Jewel still happens, which seems to be still up in the air at this point. So that's a whole thing, right? And, like, there's just so many just points of contention here. Like, now it's like, alright, well, then what the hell is going to be in the main event for WrestleMania next year? Because there's no way, with leukemia, that Roman Reigns is back for Mania in a couple of months. That's a way more serious and potentially life-threatening thing than, uh, you know, a regular injury. Like, say, to an Owens or a Zayn, right? This is a serious, serious, like, I wouldn't see him back until at least 2020 at the earliest if the treatment goes well. Like, that's just... You can say what you want about how they've booked Roman Reigns, but you don't wish ill will on the performer. They don't control the booking, right? So, that's that. But that totally changes your whole main event scene, because say what you want about the booking of Roman Reigns, he's a main event guy. And you don't have that many true blue main event guys who can carry main event matches. So, that's real curious, right? And that being said, uh, how does that actually, like, do they get the belt to Braun and say, all right, here's Braun, or does the belt go back to Brock? Because uh, please, God, don't put the belt back on Brock. If anything, if you do anything right, don't put the belt back on your boy, Orc Laser, right? And also, this kind of uh, makes more sense of the fact that folks were saying, hey, for some reason, this past weekend, they've been having Braun work face on house shows. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense, because Braun's a heel, he turned heel because of Roman. But if Roman's not going to be around, then you replace the top face of Roman with Braun. That makes all the sense, and then have McIntyre as his first contender once he wins the belt at Crown Jewel. If Crown Jewel even happens, which is still seems to be up in the air, is probably what they've been saying and booking. And if Cena's not there, and Brian's not there, how many other people don't want to be there? Like, so, so, so many questions. Miz, 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 stop interfering in my match, Miz. I don't appreciate your business. Rope break in a rope break in a no DQ match because that makes sense. No DQs, but oh yeah, rope break. What? Since when? Okay, so that's the current uh, very uh, messed up situation that opened the show, right? Opened the show. And also, I will say, maybe now they will stop trying to have Shield reunions because, man, they seem to be pretty cursed every... See, this is the third time 
the third time. It, all right, the shield, and then something happens. Not really consequential, but it seems like that the universe does not want this shield reunion to ever happen because it's been sabotaged by forces out of their control multiple times. Also, Elias! Let me hit my signature on Elias. Get that... Come on! Give me that slug exploder. I know it's not hard now, but seriously, Elias. And also, when is Sasha going to interfere and argue for me like the Miz has been doing for Elias? I don't want to drift away, Elias. I don't want to drift away. No! Boom! Bionic, elbow, two, yo, skull. Pay window. All right. Pick up Elias, and maybe hit that slug exploder. Nope! Third time. How do I win my match if I can't actually hit a finisher here? What? Uh, waste. So elsewhere on Raw, I, and that, that was the opening of the show, right? So obviously there are more things that happened on Raw, and good God, they happened. Uh, one, two... Sure. No signature, no finisher, just a sledgehammer ends the match. That's fine. And still, yeah. and still action champion. The action champion. Axe Slugger. So I totally did set the name of the belt. I did finalize, so I probably would have had that set back to something else. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore in life. Moments later. I, that's a new one. The Miz interferes in a cutscene and hits that skull. No. Where, where, where's the audio? Where's the... You showed up a few weeks ago on is. my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. This Buzz has his match match with The Miz, so it's what's time. Kurt Angle doing out here? Yep, this whole cutscene is glitched. I'm glad you two are finally <sighs> going to face off. One-on-one. -on -one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and The Miztraj will be banned for Brigside. Just and since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held oh, under be his title me. stipulations. Which means... it will be a no-DQ match. You reacted too soon, Corey Graves. Glitch out. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus The Miz. So elsewhere on Raw, looks like we were looks like we're in a Finn Balor Bobby Lashley feud. Sure, I wouldn't mind seeing Lashley versus the Demon at some point. Uh, they've booked the Riot Squad versus Sasha and Bailey and Natty at Evolution this weekend. Sure, that's fine. We got more DX and uh, Taker Kane stuff. That's kind of you know sure. They're assuming that match is still happening, and we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then, so, the whole thing with Braun being a face, and then I guess he's going to fight McIntyre after he wins the belt, hopefully at Crown Jewel. I guess that's my assumption. Uh, speaking of face turns, though, Elias going up with Corbin, so it seems like in, I mean, obviously the fans have been going along with Elias' catchphrases, even when they boo him when he makes fun of their town or their sports team. They still chant his catchphrases, so I don't mind an Elias face turn. I think that it kind of does put a damper on his musical stylings because at that point he's only going to be making fun of his opponents with his songs and not the towns which kind of limits his uh, amount of material that he can do in his songs uh, they had a contract signing between Nikki and Ronda whatever uh, and then your main event was your tag team titles on Raw and we have new Raw tag team champions the action champion. That's me. The action champion. They be. And your new tag team champions 
are Dean Ambrose and Seth freaking Rollins. Man. What the hell was that, Miz? Holy crap, animation glitch out the wazoo. Uh, and so they, they beat Ziggler and uh, McIntyre because of Braun Strowman interfering, so that kind of further further solidifies a possible Braun Strowman being the top face now, right? Because obviously Brock's still a heel. He's going to fight Brock at Crown Jewel, supposedly. And then Dean turned on Seth. And I know they've been saying, oh, will Dean Ambrose turn on them for weeks? But usually, usually when you spend that much time teasing a turn, it's misdirection. You end up doing something else with somebody else to kind of misdirect them from what they think you're doing. But in, in, in this case, I feel like this booking was changed, like, on Monday. It's like, oh my god, if Roman's gone, we gotta make these changes now. Like, it's possible that the Dean turn was planned all along. I doubt it was planned for this week. But I feel like it was probably planned, you know, uh, to happen if, they, if that's the way they were going to go with it. Now, having them be tag team champions and then have Dean turn is kind of weird because they kind of had it booked as, well, Dean wants a belt. And I guess Dean does not want a tag belt because uh, he turned on Seth, which is fine. Like, look, we've seen plenty of Dean and Seth feud. Now it's going to be the other way than it was the last time. Uh, but also, how does that handle the tag belts? Are they going to have those vacated next week? And we have all the raw belts get get vacated. Like, what in the blue hell is even happening there? And how does that get handled uh, in terms of your longer term booking towards like a say a sort of like for the next for the next pay per view? Uh, that stuff all is to me up in the air and is extraordinarily interesting because I don't know what's going to happen now. Like, this totally upended kind of the whole show. And I kind of don't know what's going to happen. And in, in wrestling, like, despite all of the worst, the absolute worst possible circumstances, not knowing what's going to happen is a good thing. Usually. All right. Salt Shaker on the Miz. Don't... Re oh, he reversed it. All right, so here's the problem with hard, is that because I have the reversals uh, turned off for limited reversals. Uh, really, Miz? Figure four, leg lock? Really? Woo! Woo! Button mash? Woo! Get to the ropes, me. What the hell? It should be a rope break. should easily be a rope break here, Miz. Why a figure four, leg lock in a no DQ match? Turn it around on him. Reverse the pressure. Anyway. So, yeah, I don't know anymore. It's really interesting. Obviously, the circumstances involved are, you know, not good. But when Vince McMahon is kind of panic booking, you get some of the most interesting booking that he does. So, Miz with a dirty pin, I have resiliency. Screw you, Miz. Screw you, Miz. Resiliency. Now, also, I think this opens up another spot on the main event, considering that... We don't know how long it's going to be until we get back Roman, right? So, A, how can you ever boo Roman again, right? But B, I think if you have a spot open up on the main event, you've got somebody who has been in main events before and who should have remained in main eventer and is not on the show currently. That's Bray Wyatt. This is the perfect chance to bring back Bray Wyatt and push him as a main event caliber talent. Like, if they don't do that, then what are they even doing? He's right there. Just do it. Seriously. Also, Miz here. Give me the fight for my life. Seriously. Miz as a world-caliber... A world-caliber... A world-class, high-caliber athlete. Working the legs. He wants that figure four. He wants to win flair style. Woo! Or not. Or not. What's it going to take, Miz? What's it going to take for the action championship? For the Jurassic champion of the world? No, Mr. Miz. Big clothesline. Knee to face. All right. I'm going to try it again here. We're going to try it again. Can I ever get off a signature or... Finally, I slug Sploder on the Miz. He didn't reverse it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Now watching me fail on the Salt Shaker, which would not surprise me, but it kind of is. Please don't reverse it. Please, he did. 
He did. He did. Okay. That's unfortunate, because now it's time for the Skull Crushing Finale, and I can't reverse it, but he's not doing his wake-up taunt. So, okay, if you want to keep here and not do your wake-up taunt, Miz, that's fine. That's, um, now he did it. Now he did it. So, this is a problem. I might lose here. I might lose here. Skull Crushing That's a rope break, ref. That's a rope break. Aw, oh, he figured it out. He figured it out. I don't have resiliency. I don't have it. Crap. Crap. Where's the... Oh, come on. That's so tiny. That's so tiny. Lame. Three count. And no! Dual champion. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title and for lack of a better term... Title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. Yep, that's me. You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. Hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Business. Yeah, no problem. We gonna talk business. Think about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. You know. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations. You're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. That's not real. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both. But Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? Uh, the real one? You're gonna give me a choice? Uh, the IC title. Come on now. The real one. That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. One of them has a lineage. One of them I just made up. Like, come on. Okay, we completed a chapter nine, baby. And then it rolls on. I'm a tax log. I thank you for watching. There are more videos every single day. Uh-oh, Matt Hardy coming up tomorrow, looks like. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.